A lot of people say, you don't want to see me angry. Well, I think to myself, yeah, you sound like the exact person I want to see angry because it sounds like it's going to be cool. You know who really doesn't want race mixing to occur? The tanning industry. Uh, I had a TV show prior to 9-11, um, but it ended up getting shelved. It was about me and my North Korean and Iraqi roommates trying to start a band called Axes of Evil. <laughs> Hopefully somewhere down the line it'll come back. I hope so. Right now my license doesn't have organ donor on it. It says make me bionic. None of this <laughs> organ donor stuff. Don't quit on me. Make me bionic. You were saying, yeah. I started to work out. It's like a mountain climbing. Right now, I'm at base camp fat ass. Jeez Louise. You know, this, um, this often happens to me. The moment I decide to get in the shower, all of a sudden I have to go to the bathroom. And I gotta get out, and all of a sudden I'm pooping, soaking wet. And I think to myself, why not have a shower that's got a toilet in there? Like a shower toilet. So when you're in there, you can just sit down, and go to the bathroom and clean up while you're in there. If humans lived forever, I think there'd be more cannibalism. A lot of martyrs say that when you get to paradise, you get 72 virgins. But if you read the fine print, I think you'll see that it actually says you get one 72-year-old virgin. Right now, they got the door of the explorer, right? Backpacks, you see them everywhere. What about mommy's little mule? A picture of a little girl who's basically a mule for drug carriers. Mommy's little mule puts all the drugs in her little backpack and carries it around for her. That would be a great children's show. What this world needs is a nice magazine called Side Boob. Oh my gosh. Um, gee. You know, there are 1.5 billion Chinese. Now, if you take the 10% number to be true, that means there's 150 million gay Chinese. Now, that would make quite an army. If they wanted to, the gay Chinese army could take over the world. They could get together, they'd be organized, they'd be neat, they would be working as a team. I mean, they could secure the streets of New York City in 12 hours, secure this country in less than 24 hours. All of a sudden, I would be saying, I'm with the gay Chinese army. <laughs>